Hello world and welcome to another exciting episode and a hopefully uplifting episode for you of the Age of Aquarius. I'm your host, Kenosha Amen, wishing you greetings and hoping that you had a wonderful day. You've had a wonderful week, month so far, that it's been very uplifting for you and that uh, you are uplifted and that you are positive in whatever it is that you're doing and that you can balance all your energies effectively. So today, on this episode of the Age of Aquarius, I will be speaking about a phenomenon that is affecting the entire world, but it's specifically affecting America. And that phenomenon was the celestial event which took place in the year 2017, August 21st, 2017 to be exact. And that event was called the Great American Eclipse. Now, if you will remember, for those who were perhaps outside of the United States, and if you were in the United States, you will remember that there was a great buildup, a lot of expectation, a lot of emotion was around this particular celestial event, more so than any other time. So the Great American Eclipse was a phenomenon where the eclipse took place on the West Coast, the uh, northern, the northern western portion of the United States, and then it transitioned right across the United States, all the way down to the lower southeast of the United States. I'm not sure exactly of the state where it stopped, but let's just say it cut a line right across the United States of America. Now, what is interesting about the Great American Eclipse is that in exactly seven years, 2024, we will have another Great American Eclipse. And that will take place um, this time where the eclipse will take place on the east coast on the upper northeastern portion of the United States and it will transition again in a straight line across the United States and end up southwest in the southwest position of the United States. Now if you were to draw that on a map that that uh, pattern makes a complete perfect X right across the United States and so what this means spiritually and physically, is that the United States of America, as an entity, will be going through great upheaval and transition, which is a part of the age of Aquarius. We see this playing out now. The weather patterns on the West Coast, and especially on the East Coast, is something that uh, these patterns have not been experienced before. We also see upheaval in the political and the entertainment industry. Right now, things that were hidden and behaviors that were hidden have been exposed. They began to be exposed towards the end of the year 2017. So sexually deviant behavior where the masculine energy, which is what we're transitioning out of, asserted itself in an uneven manner and um, in an unbalanced manner against the feminine onto the feminine energy. Well, that's being exposed. It's being exposed and it's also no longer going to be stood for. It's no longer going to be accepted. As we transition out of the purely masculine energy, the more balanced feminine energy will come into play. The feminine energy also balances the masculine energy. So a lot of behaviors and a lot of things that took place, and I know I just spoke about the entertainment industry, but a lot of things that were acceptable will not be acceptable anymore and many people will have to adjust to this. Also, 2017 to 2024, it's a seven year period. That's the mystical number seven. That's a highly spiritual number. And the seven is a number that, uh, it's, it's a number that cannot be divided evenly. So there's always going to be what some would say chaos, but it's also, it's also a number that is alive. And that's what's going to happen for America. We're going to be alive. We're going to come back and step back into our spiritual purpose. And a lot of things have to be exposed. A lot of things have to be remedied for this to take place. On Along racial boundaries, along um, um, gender boundaries, a lot of things have to be exposed and have to be balanced. And that is the purpose of the age of Aquarius and the feminine energy. I wish you farewell. I hope you enjoyed this podcast. And until next time, 